Hey there, in this video I'm going to introduce you to how to create your own song in iReal Pro. So perhaps you've never used the app before or perhaps you've been using it but only with songs other people have been creating like my scales backing tracks or my chord backing tracks or any others that you can find in the forums. But sometimes you might want to put in your own song so that you can have a student's piece, have a backing track to it or some other fun application. So I just wanted you to show you in this video the basics of putting a song into iReal Pro yourself. I'm doing this on the iPad. iReal Pro is of course available on other devices, but uh, this is probably the most common for music teachers, so I'll do it this way. So all I'm doing is going to the app, I'm going to songs, and then I'm gonna click on this plus up the top here. I'm gonna go with blank, although you can certainly choose one of those forms that's already set up if it's um, going to work for you. And then all we do here is just put in the chords, really as simple as that. So I can put in a C there, tap forward, in order to put in a bar line, say, and then I can put in a D in the next bar for fun. And then I can tap forward, put in my bar line again, and then in the next bar, let's say I still want D. Well, then I can press this symbol here, so that puts in the dot and the slash there, which means it's the same chord again. Um, and let's say I want another bar line here. One thing that was kind of counterintuitive to me at first that you might want to take note of is that it puts the bar line before where the blinking space is rather than after it. I always expect, expect it to go after, but it doesn't. And let's say we have an A chord next. I don't know what song we're making, but that doesn't really matter. And then we put our bar line there and then we'll have a D minor. So all you need to do is tap the little M there to put in your minor. And then I'll have one more bar line, and then I'm just going to put in this no chord symbol for the last bar there. And it's a very short piece, so we're gonna finish up there. And to finish it up, we just put in symbols, and we can put in our double bar line there. You can put in a repeat if you want to either. Okay, so that's my chord entry done. It's really as simple as that. Of course, you can do all sorts of fancy stuff, but for most of us, that's all we really want are the basic chord symbols. We put it in using the keyboard and we put in our bar lines and then put in our closing bar line or our repeat sign or whatever we need. You can see the flat and the sharp symbols there, so that doesn't need any more explanation either. The only other thing I wanted to note for you is the I symbol here, because it took me ages to remember that that's where I put in the song, right? So here is where you can enter fabulous song title and the composer is probably you maybe someone else and then you can set the defaults as well so I usually set this nice and slow for my students so it's automatically going to be um, yeah like that and then all I need to do is click done and that will save don't click, don't save, and it'll save. And then we can play our beautiful invention. So you heard there where we have the no chord bar, you can put that in anywhere. That's what we have in the scales backing tracks as well to help students, give students four beats to get ready for each next scale. And yeah, you can use that anywhere you like in the piece. And then you have the ending. It'll come up with the ending for you there if you just put in the double bar lines. It's really as simple as that. Of course, like I said, you can get fancy with Arial Pro. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. But if you just want to get started putting in your first song, Experiment with it and give it a go and I hope these tips helped you out.